Right, it's day five of the rewire. So the customer who's got the day off work today, he's gonna help me. He specifically just asked not to be on camera, which is fine. We drew all of the joists in the last video, put all the holes through, picked everything where we needed to go. So the existing cable currently, is that the, up there? So we're bringing it across a little bit. We're going to the joist next to it. I've marked up, I've measured. So we should be getting it through to punch through, which allow us, as soon as we've done this, I can start pulling feeds. So we're gonna be pulling feeds for everything individually. I'll run through it in a second of how I'm gonna break the house up into individual circuits. But just for the time being, I've got this monstrosity of a drill bit that'll allow me, because the last job, I'll show you upstairs. So we've got our two holes going across. And then because of these pipes that are there, which I presume are gonna be removed as when the bathroom's done, but not right yet. Not right yet. So we've got these two and then I've angled these ones down, which would allow me to get the right angle down, punch through. So did the measurement, which is these two notches, which is our older cables, which are just there coming through, and measured off that across. So I'm gonna drill down, hope we don't hit anything, hope it doesn't come through on the flat roof opposite. And once we've got that through, I can do the bigger drill bit back. Right, now for the thick boy. So now they're up and through, so we're with the customer and we've made a list. So from the initial uh, quote that we did estimate, whatever you want to call it, we knew how many rooms there were, we knew what we were doing for uh, sockets, chases, that sort of stuff. And I did turn around and say, it's all right, the customer's in front of me, don't want to be on camera, so I'm following him. Go away, sorry. I was getting away from the scaffolders. Um, breaking up room per room of how far away the lounges and the bedrooms of how many circuits we can pull in for the new kitchen. So we made a bit of a list, we've gone through it all. Kitchen, it's on its own lighting circuit, we're pulling in three 2.5 mil radials and two six mils, which we've got here. Uh, the utility room, which is off the kitchen, isn't being done yet, that's just two two fives. There's a washer dryer and an airer, so I'm gonna stick them on individual ones just in case, because we've got the space in the fuse board. The far lounge, so the furthest flat roof bit and the bit before that's got stud work, that's gonna have it on its own two five circuit and its own lighting circuit because of the distance. Upstairs, completely on its own lighting circuit, um, but the far two bedrooms, the master and bedroom two on its own two five, and the other two bedrooms and the one hall socket on its own two five as well. Up into the loft, there's a hideous amount of cables. Loft, we've got <laughs> four one mils to go up. This is the floodlights to go out the back, the loft lights and potential soffit lights in the future. So we're just gonna get that cable in now back to the fuse board. Uh, we've got two five going up there for a socket at some point if they wanted to use it. We've got a doorbell feed to go in. We've got up and down lights at the front door as well. We've got two flood lights with PIRs, one going at the far side of the house, one coming out the side here because it's the dressing room. The dressing room and the dressing room hallway is on its own socket circuit. The garage is gonna be on its own socket circuit. The office and the hall on its own socket circuit. So we've got a very nice big list here, which allows me then to set the drums up. The customer's gonna sort of manage the drums as and when we're being pulled through. But I'm gonna get the hardest one done first. We're gonna go from here, all the way through the landing, all the way through into the flat roof of the uh, lounge. So that'll be a two five, a one mil, another one mil. And also on top of that, we're doing this four smoke alarms to go in and a heat alarm, heat alarm for the kitchen. And I've added an additional smoke alarm on because I want to start doing them in the garages. Obviously that's where the fuse board is. It makes complete sense to me. Right, we're going to have two 25s at the moment. We're going to hit the far lounge, but at the same point, we're going through the master bedroom. So we're going to bring that. That is coming across, down, onto there, labeled at one, but they're equally, they're completely different color grays. So it would be a reet. I won't, I won't get the cust customer when you, when you do that for me. Let's go back to you a second, mate. Okay. We've pulled off two two fives, which come up, figured out the length we need to get to the board. Normally I use the, for the heat shrink, which is the 11.2 mil, but I've gone out and bought myself. This is 17.7, which gives me the heat shrink size for two five, and it also goes over six mil. Done. Right, get back to work.
So one thing we are doing here, the hole I just cut in the ceiling, just drilled through and gone through the, uh, the breeze block as well. But because there's two six mils going in and three two fives, one of the six mil and the two five, which we just pulled in here, because there is no kitchen plan as of yet, we don't quite know what's going on, but they're really thinking that they're gonna have an island, is one, there very well could be the hob in the center of the island. And if you're gonna have an island, you're gonna want a few sockets. So we don't know lengths wise. So we're just going overboard with this. This is gonna be pulled to the far side and down the wall. So it's ready. And then the other two two fives and the other six mil would just be a bit shorter than this. Everything's being labeled up so we know which one's long or which one's not. Um, it just gives us movability for future plans and such. But it's like um, customers just saying, don't want you to waste your cable, but it's a couple more meters here and there rather than doing a joint in the future on a, on a complete rewire. I'd rather waste a couple of meters. Okay, mate, Paul, when you're ready, please. Because this is such a big room, this is being knocked out. There's loads of room for an island, so this is the two. We've gone full length and full down, just in case if there's going to be an island, the cable will come down this wall, we'll channel the floor out. So we'll label this up and label the other end. And then the next three cables. Right, massive chunk of the cables. It looks a bit sad at the moment because we use one for lighting and the other one for power, but hey, -oh, we did a big one. Further one down here for the flat roof for the office, we've got our cables, uh, power, lights, up and down lights, and our doorbell feed. All the way over here. And this is the heat shrink for the six mil that also fits the two five. I mean, it just fits on. So they're all done. And then they're all done as well. And for no reason at all, even though this is the only singular one that's like that, we've done doorbell. Right, we're going on to sort of what is the last main room. And customers in there with a rod and a chain <laughs> for electrical ones, um, just poking it up. So just up here. I just let one know we got it. And I had really cool camera footage up in here while we're pulling it. And um, I hadn't clicked record, so. Is here. Right, it is 20 to 6 on a Friday evening. But that's okay. But Lowe's done. Um, I would have recorded more towards the end, but we, we had to get a wriggle on. I still haven't got all the cables and we've got all the feeds in for everything. We don't have any lighting cables switches in in most rooms. We've managed to do a few of the sockets in the lounge because they're putting some plastic on over the weekend. But it's such a big house, but in total in the garage, I've put some B-roll on now. We've got three separate bundles, one going to uh, the back room, which is like the dressing room and the hallway uh, and the earth bonding. The other one that goes into the offices, there's another four cables there. And then coming through the big bundle, I'm pretty sure it was 16 cables. So we've got a 26 way usable board, but some of these cables aren't maybe never get used because of the kitchen. Uh, a couple of them are being doubled up because they're uh, floodlights with the sensors that are all going in or in and around the fuse board. So it's one of them. I'll record it on a Monday when we're actually running some stuff in, put some oval in. Tuesday we should be bonding, and then Wednesday we should be second fixing. And we should be looking to uh, start prepping the other board. And we've got an idea what I want to do with the fuse board. I just spoke to the customer, get some stuff over the weekend. So we can do some form of a masterpiece with the fuse board, and it looked very cool and very nice. So I will see you guys on the next one. Love you, bye.